What's up guys, Kevin here. Just wanted to give you a little update on the T. Um, got the valve train issue sorted out and uh, immediately one of the turbos gave up. And uh, these are just four little junkyard T3s and I'm pretty sure that this T3 is why that car ended up in the junkyard. It looked like the oil hadn't been changed in a very long time. The shaft for the turbine was all gouged. Unfortunately, I had a spare one, so I pulled it apart. I bought a $28 rebuild kit from Amazon. I was really pleased with that. I was really surprised. <laughs> uh, put it back together and it seems happy now. Had the car out Saturday, uh, went to Home Depot, and when I went to leave, my throttle cable broke. I just have a little electrical uh, ring connector, ring crimp connector. They're not meant for throttle cables, um, but it's what I did when I was just trying to throw the thing together and it pulled out. So I had no tools with me. Uh, fortunately, I was at the Home Depot, so I could go pick out whatever I needed. Um, decided to go in there and find something cheap and uh, something that I didn't already have and something that would be useful in the future. So I got a little um, little set of uh, knockoff vice grips, and uh, they didn't prove too nice for uh, opening the crimp, but they work great for crimping it back together and I think I'll find a use for them in the future. So after doing that, I went back to the house, I brazed that cable into the connector, and um, then I went back out, and uh, I was having a good old time cruising down the road. Saw some guys hanging out at Hardy's, decided I was gonna head back that way, but first I went down to the end of uh, 321, and when I got down there, I heard something go horribly wrong in my Watts link was dragging behind the car. Um, so I immediately pulled over to survey the damage. It actually proved to be a blessing in disguise because when I went to finish off and removing the Watts link with a wrench, I discovered a trail of oil running underneath the car and found that my plug, which I should have used a recessed Allen type instead of this square one, um, it's tucked up under the car in a nice spot with a heavy pipe, heavy wall tube running next to it that was supposed to protect it, but something reached up and grabbed it, and it was sitting like this, and hopefully just the bung is pulled out, not a big crease crack in the oil pan, but either way, oil was running out of the car, so I quickly removed the um, rest of the Watts link and raced back home, watching the oil pressure gauge the whole way, and with nothing to locate the rear end, it was just all over the road. Anytime I touched the gas or touched the brakes, it was darting all over the place. But I got home and finished draining it. I haven't measured it, but it looks like it had at least three or four quarts left in it. And uh, so I fixed that. I have to fix the Watts link. I'm gonna move it up a little bit more and make it a little bit stronger. It's just a piece of three quarter inch all thread. And that's fine for keeping the car, keeping the car centered or the rear end centered on the car. But, uh, it, it ended up not being enough to withstand the road trying to grab it. Um, it's almost dead center of the axle, and I thought that you know hitting the bumps, the tires would make it go up. But the problem is when the road, not when the road's going like this, you know, you're going this way. The problem is when you're going this way and the road's doing this, it just reaches up and grabs it. And I've been real careful to avoid manhole covers and what lot, you know, things like that. Uh, the roads are pretty good around here, but um, yeah, something grabbed it. Anyway, so we're going to fix that tonight and hopefully get to the oil pan too. So this was how I did this before. You see this here is actually a groove cut in it, and this was sticking up this way, and I have a piece of uh, 3 16 inch plate that's bolted to the pinion mount on the uh, rear end, and so it was slid down in here and this was welded to it up here and there's just not enough material that broke off. So I went to Tractor Supply to pick up some more all thread and pick this up. I'm going to weld this to the rear end, to the plate, and that way I can thread the all-thread into it, and when it gets damaged, I can just unscrew it and screw a new piece of all-thread in there. 
and because the all thread won't be welded on or cut in any way, it should be significantly stronger than what I had in there before. So there's the watts link installed. If I need to move it up much more, I can replace this nut with some washers, and I can also shorten this coupling here to move it up a little more. Uh, these rods are gonna hit the gas tank if I go up much more, but I can take them, move them from here down to here. And uh, that should take care of that. I went and checked the oil pan, and the bung is cracked, fortunately, so I'm just gonna put a shorter plug in it and weld that up. I won't bore you guys with that. Make sure to check out my website, carterperformance.com. It's where I get my mad money for doing these projects. I uh, should be working on some prototypes right now. I have some pretty ridiculous LS-specific parts that I'm working on. Uh, but lately, I've just been playing with this car because that's all I want to do anyway. But that's enough for a night. Thanks for watching.